Okay, welcome to the Rich Van Tassel channel. Today is Friday, May 27th, 2016. Giving you the recap of the Eastern Conference Finals Game 6. The Cavaliers coming out with the big win. <clears throat> Almost by 30 points, they advance to the con or to the NBA Finals. That is, LeBron James going to his six straight finals. The Cleveland Cavaliers, their second in a row. Story of this game clearly was the three-point shooting. Uh, Cleveland was 17 of 31 from behind the arc to Toronto's 8 of 25, and Toronto was cold for much of the game. Uh, they heated up a little bit in the second half, got it to a point where you thought maybe they might make a run off of some of those threes. But uh, in the fourth quarter, it was a 12-point game going into the fourth quarter, and then Cleveland outscored them 27 to 13. Again, um, Toronto was making a few of those moves where you got it to, you know, 10, 11 points, you know, they were down 12 going in. I don't know if they ever got an under 10. And you thought, well, maybe they're just keeping it close, but then they just fell apart. Cleveland went off, got a few transition buckets, hit some threes. They were just making every three in sight, and that put this game away. Kyle Lowry had 35 on 11 of 22 shooting. DeMar DeRozan, 9 of 18, 20 points. Oh, Lowry was 6 of 12 from downtown. He played really well. Uh, this is one of the games where these two guys did play very well. And they were able to win, uh, or not able to win the game. Uh, usually they're able to win when they do play well. Bismarck Biombo only 9 rebounds. Tristan Thompson only had 5. Kevin Love was the main rebound guy for Cleveland with 12. So, uh, Biombo, you got to give him credit. He did... Uh, outplay Kyle Lowry, or not Kyle Lowry, Tristan Thompson at points during this series. I didn't think it was ever going to be um, really close at all between the two of them. I thought Biombo, you know, he was showing a lot of flashing in the previous round, and I thought he was really going to get smacked around by Tristan Thompson, but he certainly held his own. Uh, Toronto, again, they just were shot lights out from behind the arc tonight. I thought they made some mistakes defensively. They were double teaming too fast when the team is that hot from behind the arc. I'll take my chances going one-on-one -on -one with LeBron James, but, you know, that's not what they decided to do. Altogether, Cleveland shot 54.1%. I mean, they were just out of control in this game. They were hitting everything. So there was really nothing that uh, Toronto could do when they're shooting that well. Toronto shot 41.8, so they could have shot a little better. But when you lose by, what is it, 26, you know, so you lose by 11, 12 instead of 26, you know, whatever it is. But that's, uh, you know, that's basically the story of this game. Altogether, 33 rebounds for the Raptors to 38, so it wasn't... You know, nothing really major anywhere else. Cleveland had 10 turnovers to Toronto's 12. It was just the shooting today. That's really what it came down to. The guys who did Toronto win, Patterson, 1 of 5 from 3 point, 3 of 9 total. Damari Carroll, only 3 of 9. He was a real disappointment this series. Piombo, 1 of 4. You don't expect much from him. Valanchunas was all right off the bench at 3 for 5. Had 6 points and 8 rebounds. But that's, uh... You know, it's just the shooting. We can't stress that enough. So Cleveland advances. They will move on. They will face the winner of the Oklahoma City Golden State series when that ends. They play game six tomorrow in Oklahoma City with the Thunder a chance to wrap that up. However, um, you know, this was it, was it was interesting early on in the series. They uh, they went every other day with this Eastern Conference Finals, and they gave the Western Conference Finals three days off, even after they had started before the uh, Eastern Conference Finals, and it really put them behind. Uh, obviously, you know this could they're going to be a day behind no matter what because they got to play tomorrow. If Game Seven happens, that'll happen on Monday night, so Cleveland may be able to get some rest. Um, you know. This, this, I think this series will serve Cleveland well. They were able to lose. They were able to, you know, face at least some adversity. And now they're not going to be resting too long until the finals. But it's still going to be a while anyway. So we'll see what happens. But certainly we're waiting to see tomorrow what happens if Oklahoma City is able to eliminate the Golden State Warriors and if it'll go to Game 7. So we'll keep you posted on that. Be sure to stay tuned for that tomorrow. Remember, we appreciate all subscriptions. And thank you all very much. Have a good Memorial Day weekend.